So the basement entrance is on the lower side down here. Um, I did some photos, but you know, there's some cracks in the concrete, especially in this piece at the bottom of the stairs. Um, there's a lip in that. So walking in, as you can see very high ceilings in here. There are four padlocked storage units. It smells dry down here, so they have storage. Um, here is a panel. The other panels I couldn't really see because they were behind people's stuff. Um, I saw one in the first unit, which I may not have gotten on here, but they were very similar. So they're not not Federal Pacific or Zinsco or anything like that. Um, here is one water heater in here, which of course looks newer. We've got uh, galvanized plumbing and it looks like galvanized waste lines. I am seeing some bubbling right there, so it may have been a leak with one of the waste lines. I'm not seeing any water really on the floor. Um, here's the washer and dryer. Looks like they are charging 75 cents for the washer and 75 cents for the dryer. Um, I certainly am guessing that the uh, vents need to be cleared out. There's your dryer vent sink. Um, water and hair works. Yeah, so just some galvanized plumbing. Uh, and then there is a room off of here that is kind of the manager's room for storage, um, for manager storage. It does have a big window, really high ceilings. Um, here are the two other water heaters. So I'm guessing one of these is most likely for the washer dryer and then the other one, you know, we've got two for the other units. These both look newer too. The oldest looking um, water heater looks like it was in unit 317. And then here is a crawl space access also and it does look like there is insulation on the floor, which is great. Smells dry down here. I'm not seeing any signs of uh, pest poops or anything like that. So it looks good. 